Hi, this is Gene Montrestelli, the editor of TappingQA.com, and today we're going to do a little tapping around the idea of giving ourselves permission to let ourselves off the hook for the mistakes that we've made in the past. And I would be willing to bet that there are some of you, the instant you heard me say let off the hook, had a visceral emotional reaction to that, because there's a part of us that doesn't want to be let off the hook. It wants us to take responsibility. And it's true, we definitely need to do that. But I don't know about you, but I am certainly a person who ends up beating myself up and not letting myself out of my mistakes sooner than I should. And, and by doing that, I'm actually making it much harder on myself. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a little tapping around taking responsibility, but not get caught in beating ourselves up of the mistakes we've made in the past so we can be fully present to this moment. So to begin with, what I want you to do, tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath for me. And what we're going to do is we're going to move from tapping point to tapping point. Repeat after me. I'm going to start at the tippy top of my head. You start at the place that makes the most sense for you. There is a part of me that knows that I've made mistakes. I've actually made lots of mistakes. And this part of me doesn't want me to forget those mistakes. It wants to make sure I don't make those mistakes again. It wants to make sure that I've learned from the experience. And that's why it's staying stuck in those mistakes. Reliving them over and over again to make sure I don't forget. And I appreciate that it wants me to learn. I appreciate it wants me to do better. But at the exact same time, if I keep dwelling on these mistakes, I'm never going to move forward. I'm not going to be fully present to this moment. I'm going to be stuck in the past. I want to learn the lessons. I want to do better. But dwelling on my mistakes isn't going to help me. Staying stuck in the past isn't going to help me. It just becomes a way for me to punish myself. It just becomes a way for me to beat myself up. I can take responsibility for my past mistakes. I can learn the lessons from my past mistakes. And not stay stuck in them. I give myself permission to move forward. In easy ways. In gentle ways. Taking full responsibility but not being stuck. I'm actually not learning the lesson if I stay stuck in the past. I give myself permission to stop beating myself up for these mistakes. Nice deep breath. Now this is one of those ones that's tricky. Tapping on that might be enough for you to have released yourself so you can move forward. And other mistakes might be deep enough that you might want to spend more time with them. So it's not just speaking in mistakes in general, but really going through the past mistake that you keep beating yourself up for over and over again. Refocus on that. Use this audio. Use other scripts. It'll make it easier for you to let that go because you deserve to be in this moment and not stuck in the past. If you found a tap along like this helpful, I'd really encourage you to click the little red button down in the lower right hand corner so that you get the opportunity to subscribe to the videos. Make sure you turn the notifications on so that every single time a new video comes out, you're able to get a notification so you can tap along with me. If you haven't done so already, I'd also encourage you to check out the Tapping Q&A podcast. Every single week, we offer new tap-along audios just like this, interviews with great change work professionals, instructions on how you can get more out of your tapping. It's absolutely free. Everywhere you find podcasts, just search Tapping Q&A. Also, if you've done so already, 
Follow us on Instagram, Tapping Q&A. Every few days, we offer more free resources so you can get more out of your tapping as you move forward. And finally, if there is someone in your life who could use a little tap along like this, please be our ambassador. The easiest and most common way people find a new resources from the recommendation of a friend. So you'll really be doing them a favor by saying, hey, I saw this and I was thinking of you. Just send them a link. It might make the difference and make their day better, which is good for all of us. For Tapping Q&A, this is Gene Montrastelli. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.